This knot is the clove hitch running with an overhand safety. We'll tie this knot when we can't just put that clove hitch over the end of the object. To start out, just put it over top of the object, pull slack, whatever slack you think you need, loop it over again, and you'll see here that we've crossed over top of that strand. From here, take the end, run it underneath itself, pull it through. It should look like this when you're done. At that point, do your overhand safety. Make sure you keep it within six inches. Snug it down. And there is your clove hitch running with an overhand safety. This knot is the clove hitch looped. We do the clove hitch looped when we can access the end of that object and slide it up over top of it. So what I want you to do is take your, your two strands here, make a loop. Make sure you're facing that loop in the right direction. I'll make a second loop. But this loop I'm going to put behind that first one. At that point, I just take that knot, slide it on an object. In this case, we'll use my arm here just to demonstrate. Pull all the slack out of it, and there is your clove hitch looped. See your one strand comes out here, this strand comes out here with the strand crossing the two. 